Please do not mind these sweet, sweet baby snores. I do not have one of those villages that I've heard so much about. So here we are. Hey guys, and welcome back. If you are new here, I'm Amanda Norris, girl mom extraordinaire, living in Pittsburgh, and we are sharing our homeschool journey here on YouTube right from the get-go. Uh, we're currently working through Blossom and Roots Early Years 1 curriculum. I'm so very pumped that you are here. I hope that you will continue to join us on our misadventures, so be sure to like and subscribe if you wanna, uh, and also check out our Instagram at Foursquare Schoolhouse for daily content. All right, so let's do week five. Starting off with nature study, we made a string of leaf garland this week. So we've been carrying this tiny little target bag around with us when we're out for walks or at the park. And we've gathered some leaves, dandelions, you know, nature. And then we pulled from that to make some garland one morning this week. So I just cut like an arm's length maybe of embroidery thread and we used a blunt, like a crochet or weaving needle that I had laying around to poke a hole in the leaves uh, and then pull the thread through. And this activity was really kind of great for fine motor practice and was also kind of a step up from this little wooden bead stringing toy that we have. So that was cool. And the coolest part for Lucy anyway was that she actually got to use a needle, right? Like. Those are typically totally off limits. Uh, I do like embroidery and sewing and stuff too, so they're not all so blunt. And really, I guess I just usually practice like umbrella needle safety, but now I know we should probably have some good old fashioned supervised needle time here and there. And she wanted to add the dandelions too, so I just tied those on at either end and then asked her where she wanted to hang it and she wanted to hang it in the window beside the front door. And really it looks so darn cute there that I actually used the pictures that I took of it to make a new banner and stuff for my videos. So I got a little bonus out of this activity. Now, Lucy didn't really show up for math and science this week, but Ariel sure did. Like my kid gets really into her pretend play and I'm not really a big fan of interrupting that to be honest. So we just did like a very small scale version of this week's lesson in our little dollhouse in the dining room. So I just grabbed a scrap of paper from the table and cut out a bunch of tiny little leaves. And then I put a little post-it on the table as a tablecloth and had her gather crayons to take over that were like typical leaf colors. She then had Ariel complete the rest of the activity. And the best part about this little impromptu lesson was that we set up this little homeschool slash dining room space, just like we have. And that was just a really nice side effect of this lesson, getting to have this little space to kind of mirror ours. And now she can continue to include that in her play. This is kind of cool because now we can pretend with her Daniel and her Peppa characters that they get to have a homeschool space like we do. And I'm really gonna hype it up and use that kind of language to like get to. Two together. Two together, cool. This one we need now also for this leaves of many colors lesson in the parent guide, it gave a few other different examples of things that you could do like finding pictures of trees and magazines. <laughs> really guys, I think the last physical magazine that I actually purchased was probably like a Cosmo in like 2007. So we just sort of made a point of noticing leaves as we've read different books this week. So Van Gogh was cool and all, uh, but it was really nice to move on at this point to something totally different. Like, I don't think that those paintings would have really held her interest a heck of a lot longer. So we checked out these painted pumpkins online and just sort of scrolled through so that we could see all the different things, watch a big pumpkin get pushed into the ocean. And then we grabbed a banana, sticking with the whole like yellow produce themes that came up this week. And she painted it with Q-tips. Okay, so I'm just gonna roll right into music here too because uh, we actually did listen to this week's music as we made our banana art and at other times throughout the week too. Lucy really liked the Somewhere Over the Rainbow song and has asked to put it on here and there. She's been singing it. Uh, we have a ukulele that she plays sometimes and her dad actually learned how to play this song this week. So that was kind of cool. And we got out the globe then to talk a little bit about 
the concept of where people are from using our two artists this week. And uh, we talked about where we are from. And then we found Pittsburgh on the globe. We then looked for Hawaii and Japan. We talked about how they're both islands. This guy was actually our wedding guest book. So I got it down from the hutch for the first time in like four years and dusted it off. And we got to talk about all uh, the countries, but also all the names of the people that we love that were at our wedding. So that was fun. Lucy both enjoyed that and was incredibly pissed off that she was not at our wedding. It's kind of a sore spot for her. This week's activity for kindness and connectivity was once again, absolutely perfect. We were supposed to get a plant or a flower to give to someone. So we went to this little local hardware store down the street to pick some up. Lucy picked out purple mums and mums, not purple ones, but mums were actually our wedding flower. So that popped up again. We grabbed a few for us to plant out front. And then we also grabbed some for the neighbors that we are the fondest of. And the reason I say that this was perfect timing is that uh, it's spring, you know? So this is right around the time when everyone is starting to plant around here. And also, we got to do this on Earth Day. So it was a completely perfect way to celebrate, right? I didn't get any footage of her delivering the flowers, unfortunately, but really I wouldn't want to put the neighbors on here anyway. But she was just really excited to pass them out and wish everyone a happy Earth Day. For our read together this week, we watched a read aloud of Yellow Time on YouTube again. I get that this was totally an autumn kind of book, but we could also talk about the color of the leaves now in the spring. And Lucy wore a yellow shirt and painted a yellow banana and just kind of got into the general yellow theme. So instead of pressing leaves, we actually just harvested some dandelions from our extensive dandelion collection out front and press them into Lucy's sketchbook. So they went in at the beginning of the week and came out at the end. And now we are actually going to save them for an activity in week seven. So stay tuned. Hey dad, my dandy went that fast. So we also made some yellow banana pancakes for our kitchen classroom activity. I hope everyone has Jack Johnson in their head right now because I do. I always do when we make banana pancakes, but uh, we paid attention to all the numbers that were involved. So reading the nutrition information on the bag, uh, talking about expiration dates, setting the temperature on our little electric griddle, um, and then this kind of led into a conversation about degrees being how we measure temperature. So then we could look at our little echo show thing that's on the kitchen counter to see what the temperature was in degrees that day. Uh, and then we also looked at the usual numbers that you see, you know, like the measurements on the blender, on the measuring cup. Lucy counted the pancakes, like I, I put four on the top, four on the bottom, and that led to us actually doing math. She was adding the four on the top, four on the bottom. So we had eight, and then when she ate one, there were seven. And then I, of course, cannot help myself. These are so insanely good. So I just stuff my face and we can do subtraction all day, guys. I very much hope that you guys had an okay time hanging out with us today. Uh, make sure that you check back again next week where we will be sharing this past week's adventures. It was a little bit of a challenge where we squished all of the week's activities into one single day. It was fun and it was busy and messy and I can't wait to share it with you. If you would like a little sneak peek of that, be sure to go check out our Instagram at Foursquare Schoolhouse. And again, you know, do the stuff like subscribe uh, and I will see you next time. Oh,